Today, we're going to look at how we can utilize bookmarks within our dashboards and reports to really add multiple layers while still operating on one page. There's some really cool functionality here, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll look at how we can utilize this. Now, I've created a mock data set again. This is just based on sort of, we could model it on LinkedIn data. We're looking at marketing data, how many people are viewing our, our social profile. And I've created quite a clean but simple design. And we're going to look at how we can navigate through different facets of a report through bookmarks without actually ever leaving our overview page. So you can see here, I'm already navigating between my chart view and my map view. Within my chart view, I'm utilizing the top end function within my filters. So I'm showing the top 10 locations. Now, why would I use a bookmark? Well, this map view and the chart view aren't going to look great if they just use half of the page each or they use a quarter of the page or whatever, you get the point. But if we use bookmarks, we can have this really smooth button functionality but we're not leaving our overview page and we're not compromising on the size of the detail. So like I always say, it enables end users to make decisions very easily without any complexity or confusion from their side. You can see with the buttons himself, I've also enabled fill and hover and I'm making them function like actual buttons and the action within those button visualizations takes them through to the relevant bookmark and we'll look at the construction of the bookmarks shortly within this video. Again, I love the use of buttons and, you know, making things look less like a cluttered classic Power BI dashboard and more like a web app. So when we click on this button here, we get a help panel so we can direct our users. Again, we're using bookmarks, but they're never leaving this original page. Also with this button here, it takes us to another bookmark. And this is a, a nice area chart, but I would have been concerned at using this within my main dashboard, uh, taking up like a fifth of the page, users would have had to scroll to see this data because of size limitations. Well, here we, we take away that, that worry and we've got a very clean looking chart. And again, really helping our end users navigate our dashboard. Nice, I've used custom app source visuals here with gauges. And what we're doing here is we're showing the percentage of our target uh, in the amount of visitors or users that we want to attract to our LinkedIn, our LinkedIn page. So again, it's a nice way where we can eradicate that sidebar that we see in the map view and replace it with some nice gauges. So we, we're getting some exciting variety and we're never leaving this overview dashboard. Now you can see here my bookmarks, how these are constructed. Bookmarks, all we're actually doing is we're, we're, we're basically, when we add a bookmark, we're taking a snapshot or almost a screenshot of the page. And coupled with our selection pane, we can hide certain elements and replace them with other visuals and we can create new bookmarks. I'm assuming a lot of people have used bookmarks before, but I'm trying to show really the power of the layers and how effective they can be in really creating a very clean design, but probably providing more insights than a lot of people would with a much less cluttered and minimalistic design. You can see here as I go through the bookmarks, basically I choose to hide certain shapes and I show certain shapes depending on what, what, we're, um, what we're showcasing. But most things are pretty much the same, most components within our dashboard. Well, I hope you enjoyed that brief and powerful insight into how we can use bookmarks to add layers to dashboards and really make, make our, our Power BI reports in general very effective. If you want to see me do a detailed build with bookmarks, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And as usual, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.